Look at all this silicone sealer. You know somebody's been in this one before. Kind of rare that you have a tag. You got paint all over this transmission and the paint is covering all the crappy silicone sealer. This is why I don't like using silicone sealer in a transmission. It's disgusting. Wow, this is unreal. This has got a mix of early and late Muncie synchronizer rings in it, and I really wouldn't have thought that this could have happened in such a late transmission, but obviously somebody was in it before and messed it up. Uh, it's a good opportunity for me to show you the differences between the styles of rings. Let's do that right now. Okay, this whole discussion is about early and late Muncie synchronizer rings. If you look at these two rings, sometimes it's hard to distinguish both of them as being early and late. But if you notice, this particular ring here has a shoulder on the edge of it compared to this ring, which does not. In order to understand why this one has a shoulder and this one doesn't, is to go back into the history a little bit. Let me show you. This is a T10 1-2 synchronizer hub and rings. And this is a Muncie 1-2 synchronizer hub and rings, the early version. If you take notice, they're identical. But a lot of people don't understand that the Muncie 4-speed was a design change of the T10, basically. It was an upgrade to the T10. It was a beefier unit than the T10. And so how did they make it beefy? What they did was they made the gears bigger on the Muncie. Not necessarily in, in, in tooth count because it was the same exact tooth count as the T10. But a little bit wider, a little bit wider, and a little bit heavier. So the increased weight caused inertia issues in shifting. So they decided to make bigger cones on the Muncie 4 speed. And if you notice, the cone has got a bigger diameter than the T10. It's like having bigger rotors on a car. It makes it shift better because it's got a larger surface area for the synchronizer ring to act on. It's a great idea, but the problem is, is that taking this ring and punching a bigger hole in it compared to this ring, if you notice, makes this edge thinner than this one, which created a weak spot. These rings would have a tendency to crack over here. The T10 ring never cracked, but the Muncie ring started cracking. So the GM engineers felt, okay, we've got to fix this issue with the rings cracking. Get rid of this T10 ring now. And they redesigned the ring to have a shoulder on it. And if you notice this shoulder here, a lot of people don't pick this up, is right again over here. And the idea was to reinforce the ring. But once you made this ring wider over here, that means that the synchronizer hub had to be thinner by about an eighth of an inch. So the thinner hub, which is this one compared to the old hub, you could see the difference in size. And what happened was they sold them as matched assemblies, so you couldn't screw them up. So in other words, you got the thick rings. Okay, let's put them together here with the thin hub to replace the thin rings with the thick hub. If you notice, these two sets, again, are completely the same height almost, and that's the way they have to be. The problem is, is that in dealing with a lot of transmissions over the years, it's quite common to see people mix and match these two, where it's put thick rings on wide hubs and thin rings on thin hubs and so forth. So you have to be careful of that. You have to be careful of that problem. And what that'll do is, let me just show you. In a normal setup, if I put it up and I set it up correctly here, put it together, so you can see that the ring has got a little bit of a clearance over here. So if I was to accidentally build a unit and put early rings with a late hub, look how much clearance I have now. That's not cool. This is going to cause the keys to pop out and break. Same token is if I take the early hub and put the late ring on it. That way, now I'm locked up completely. It can't even move at all because it's actually resting on the ring and it, the ring is preventing the gear from actually thrusting against the hub. So you always want to make sure that you have the proper setup. In general, early hubs, the width of these is an inch and 152 thousandths. The thin hubs, it's usually about an inch and 20 thousandths, almost an eighth of an inch difference between the two. So be careful when you're putting units together. That's today's little tip. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I got these synchronizer assemblies that I matched. These are the torque locking uh, zero lock assemblies. I'm using these because I don't know the condition of, of this guy's gears that I'm gonna deliver them to. It's a friend of mine he has got a really cool shop uh, that's got a lot of cool hot rods in it. And I thought it'd be a good idea for me to drop these parts off to his place and we can go check out his shop and look at his cars. It's a pretty interesting place. So I'm gonna give him a couple of uh, synchronizers and some shift forks and let's go take a trip. Like FedEx couldn't handle this. Not this time. When did you finish? Well, you didn't finish building no, it technically. It, it became drivable about oh, about five, six years ago when I got this these uh, manor frame. Right. Um, the guy that owned the bot was secure. The original coupe had already collected this stuff to build a clone of it. Right. And when he got the real car, he didn't need this anymore, so he sold me or gave me the manor. I think the guy's frame. name was Steve Rains, wasn't it? No, he, it was. Uh, it was. It, it was. Yeah. Chop chops wrong. Rear fenders are wrong, the tires and wheels are wrong, but these are hard to get. These wheels are almost impossible. They were sort of two-dollar swap meet item in the, in the 70s. When mags came out, no one wanted these anymore. Nobody wanted the chrome with the regular no, chrome wheels. No, but they're absolutely, you know, vitally important for this. Do you have a problem tuning all these carbs? Yeah, a nightmare. <laughs> and I got this guy who was an ex-employee of Manor Free, uh -huh. and he emailed me every half hour. He said, you got it going yet? He said, they do run. You've just got to do what I tell you. Mm -hmm. And I've blocked off all the possible vacuum leaks and, right. it, and it still doesn't. It crackles. And, and one of these videos of a, repro, uh, a clone is driving it and exactly the same thing. <laughs> right. Because it is manifold, you think? It's, yeah, there's a leak in there. Really? I mean, and how low, how low it stands like this? Right. You, you guess it's good. 
This has got that custom yeah, chassis on. Uh, sorry, um, a tray wall and chassis. Right. He's in now. Uh, and they both have Muncie's in them? That's got a five speed. Oh, it's got the Tremec. five speed. The Tremec yeah, is in there. That's right. got a, a four speed. That's a regular. So this is like more of a retro mod. Right. All, 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 all stock. Cool. Um, this is going to have um, to go down to the, the gel cover. That's very cool. I built this car from the ground up. Just a box of the chassis made the cross members. I love this. Yeah. The yeah, Lion Fire had his Pete Shaporis and built a set of those and then put them on the market. I don't like what all stuff, you know. Uh -huh. But who's going to build headers when you've got a car ready for the road? <laughs> right. <coughs> And my friend um, Neil did the, did the interior. Very cool. It's got diner, kind of 50s diner. Definitely, know. definitely. And you have ETs on this one too? No, that, they are, uh, they're American, uh, are, 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 are something. American racing? Yeah, they're American, but they've got a rib. Uh huh. If you notice, most of the Americans don't, they don't have this. It's uh, American. R70s, oh, R70s. Oh, They're oh, R70s. This is nice. Is this got a special oh, frame on it too? Yeah. yeah. Nobody knows who made it, but boy, is it beautiful. Because it's misfiring. And yet, the other day I started up, it wasn't. So it's an intermittent. When you say it misfires, what happens? Like the two cylinders that apparently are out. I took it up to the local gas station. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a kind of a repair shop. And he right. said, he's a racer, drag racer. And he said, without diagnostic, I can't tell. Right, it's There's true. eight coils and eight injectors. Right. And you'd have to know your stuff. What year is this? What year is this? Again? 59. Uh, 59. It's a 59 with a whole... Probably the injectors. They probably just need to be cleaned. This is, this is an unknown Muncie. It, I think it was in the original one of my original cars. But I, I set the shifter up uh -huh. correctly according to your right. right. That's a fifth that's a that's a 55 Chevy linkage like that one and had the thing for the bench seat oh, like that. Yeah, but I'm not sure if that was stock, but it probably Yeah, but was. they had to do that because in these cars, the shifter ends up so far forward. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if- well, and I, I don't mind. <laughs> no, no, it's great. You got a pressure gauge down here. got kind of a lope to it. Yeah, uh, they reproduce the whole, this whole body is now produced by America, uh, United Pacific. Because it's, it's absolutely spot on, better than the original. Right. The, the contours are correct, everything's correct. The, the, the trade name, I, I ordered it, the code was the same, uh -huh. exactly the same. The chassis paint was made here and oh. that was done in California. Look at the difference, the right. shade light. Yeah. But actually, it looks nice like that. Well, you know, it might be... be too tone. Yeah, I might be too much with that. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to bother. No, I think it actually has a nice little contrast to it. and actually brings out the frame. Sometimes it navy blue. Sometimes it's rich, deep purple. Some angles, it changes color. It's a beauty. It really is. Yeah, it's fine. It's still... They do fall out, don't they, yeah, if you don't watch it? Yeah, you gotta keep them the in the middle. The spring clips are in there. Yeah, but they're kind of... You know, diagonally opposed, like you said. Yeah. But I haven't done this side. Yeah, but you gotta push the slider out yeah. so the keys don't now, this, come out. this, I pressed on. Right. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So these these gears... Well, hold this for a second. I don't... <laughs>
Let's just see. Those gears are fucked, are they? No, they're nice. These are a nice shape. So this is better. Yeah, see these, that with the... Yeah, these points on these teeth are really nice. And what you can do is, if you don't want to use these sliders, use those assemblies on yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, this, as a matter of fact, you have to use those assemblies because these hubs yeah. are the early style hubs. So this has to come off. Yeah. The sleeve has to come right. off. Right. These hubs are the latest, the right. early style hubs. Right. And and what happens is they'll lock the unit up. You see where this ring is kind yeah. of tight against this? Yeah. It shouldn't be. You no, know, that they should be floating slightly. Right. What happens is these hubs are wider for the early rings. Uh -huh. So I'm glad I got you that. Put those assemblies on this setup like yeah. that and just clean this up with some, yeah. you know, 400 paper. Yeah. And you'll be good to go okay. like that. And if you're going to use... So this has got to... I've got to press... Put this in the press. Take this off. I use the case. Right. As a press, you know, put the case down there and then press right the way through. Well, this may come right off, this assembly. This one, oh, of but course this, it comes up that way. Yeah, right. Okay. This but one that you still just, has to come off if we're going to change that, though. Right. you got to just put underneath here. I don't know if they've got clamps or yeah, somewhere. Yeah. yeah, this is just... I've, this is all I've got, though, uh, Paul. Is that... Yeah. Something like that. Right. That's it's all. The big yeah. Actually, if something. you take this off first, you'll be able to pull the gears against these over here. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So if you, that'll work fine. All right. And then uh, these tails... Yeah, this is the one with the speedo on this yeah, side. Got a bit mixed up. One was painted, one but wasn't. Use the one with the speedo on this side. Yeah. And just press the gear so if the end of it is here. Yeah. Facing this part over here. Okay. And it'll work fine. Right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. They're both the same. They're so both the same, right. Use the later later tails. Yeah. This is the painted one. I don't. That's a later case too. Is that it? one. Yeah. This one's definitely a little bit edgy. You can feel it if you turn that. Yeah. Yeah, it's an M21 right. with the 221st gear. And the thing is, is the M21. These, these, these are yeah, you see the ring on it, the rings. one line? Yeah. That's an M21 okay. with the 220. This one that you're working on, where's the input for this one? It's probably in the. Oh, here? In the drawer. One of the drawers. Because that cluster that you showed that was greased yeah. up. Here's all the parts of you, you know, the, the counter gear? Hey, these are actually in good shape, these forks. Not bad, used, but, you know, see the way they're worn here, yeah. though? I'll put the new ones in. Yeah. Right. I, I thought, now we got, you know, I think this one's worse. Yeah, and I just change them out with the other ones. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Uh, that way it'll be a nice crisp chip. The, the, uh, the county gear that you showed me with the needles in it, oh, yeah. that input that goes with that will yeah. be a better set for the street than that other one would be. Right. Like that. Yeah, see, this is the M20, see, with the two rings on it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and this has got a better first gear. This is going to have the... That's pretty uh, good nick, isn't it? What? The, these, these teeth? Yeah, they're a nice shape. They're a nice shape. Yeah. See, we, because these engagement teeth, are, they still got some point definition to yeah. them. They're not really too bad. And that, it'll work fine. Okay. It'll and work this fine. This is all right? This, this yeah. Cone. Yeah, just clean them up. Like, okay. I, what I, I clean the cones up with is I hit them with uh, 400 paper. Right. And then, like I use like 2000, then 2000, I clean yeah. it up like that, and it works really good. Do you good. spin it or just, just do it by hand? I just do it by hand because I, I don't have a lathe. You have a lathe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where the left hand thread goes, isn't it? This, right. And you say get rid of. No, you would use this slinger on here. Like, there's the new one in the kit that's, yeah. got, that's solid, I, and I use the new one right. like that. But this is in good shape. Yeah. That'll be a nice box when it's done. Goody. Like that. And you, I, you got, I think, reverse uh, the reverse idler gear you have, like that. Those gears are good. These, this they're, is probably a better. That's a different. Both out, both. Both the same. Both the same. Right. You know, these always get chewed up on the ends because when they slide past one another, the end isn't being used. Right. Like this, it goes past. So this edge, you know, is kind of sacrificial. It's meant to be like that. <laughs> okay. You have your old rings. Yeah, they, I, I kept everything. Where the hell are they? Are they here? Oh, they could be in this box. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, well, here's oh, yeah. the old rings here. Okay. These are the, you had the two okay. rings from the kit. Yeah. See, these rings are thinner. Oh, yeah. Than these. Oh, they are. Right. Wow. So oh, happens is, these, these are the ones that give you the play. Yeah, so that, surely you need more meat, don't you? Right. Yeah, so what happens is this was 60, 63 to 65. Right. They broke. They broke. They beefed up the shoulder, but in order to do that, they had to use a narrower hub. Yeah. 
So the hubs that I gave you are wow. narrow. So that's, that's why it's taking up the, the slack you need. You right, this won't shift like okay. this. So it's too, this will lock the okay. unit up. Goody, good. Well, good call, that is. Uh, that's new. The new. Yeah. Yes. The new ones have, uh, the, they say uh, WH on them, like that. <coughs> or nothing at all, but like that. So all you have to do is just kind of use that setup yeah. and you're fine. Thick is good. Thin yeah. is no good. Right. But what happens is you get these hubs Those are like, to go. Yeah. right, these are like an inch and an eighth. They're actually... The hubs are at an eighth. The 16th. They're like an inch almost, an inch and 20 thousandths oh. thinner. Okay, like that. that'll give more. Right. So that'll be able to move in free. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Like but the shaft's in good shape. Yeah. Like I said, I'm just keep the press the yeah. speedo gear on right yeah. to where it ends up on that, yeah. and it'll line up perfectly. If I use a butane burner, that would yeah, do that's it. what I do. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. These are the ones you were showing me, the studs. So I got yeah. you. I had some used stud shafts laying oh, around. Man. Somebody oh. snapped them both off. Well, that's happened. So the walls are the they early fall ones. Over. They roll over and snap off, don't they? Yeah. Well, it's the 5 16 If you look on the other ones yeah. that are on the other transmission inside, those are the uh, the 3 8 studs. 3 8. Okay. So these were early ones anyway. They're yeah. junk like okay. that. You'll, uh, you, it'll work. There's my selection of gears there. Right. That's from like a, a later box yeah. like that. But the metal ones work better. Those work yeah. with clips. The, these, unless you get them meshed correctly. Yeah, they're going to chew up, I guess. Yeah, I don't like using the no. plastic gears because if they come off the clip, yeah. Yeah. then what happens is it's probably not for that, you know. No, I don't know. I just yeah. I keep That's everything. All, this is automatic stuff. This yeah. is from automatics. Yeah, I guess so. Like that. This is the manual shift ones here. That, with that, with that. Yeah. So you have everything good. Everything is there. All right. You got everything to build a complete unit now. Amazing. Yeah. But these are the original bearings. Yep, I kept them. Yeah. Just, yeah. They really, that is a good move. You try yeah, move. yeah, no, no, but they're all rusted up. But yeah, see, unfortunately, that the, feels unfortunately, sweet. what was cool about these bearings was that they, they had, if you look at them compared to the new ones, these have a thicker race on yeah. them for the gear to thrust against, but right. they work just the same. Don't you, don't you use it on the Super Spec 25, you use a seal bearing. Yeah. They're much better, surely, to keep the, the grease in there. Yeah, but you, on the regular box, you need the oil. Up. Yeah. It probably, yeah, it's been rusted and sit yeah. for a long time. Yeah. They're not circles. I don't think we have any tonics left. Oh, right. So a gin and gin. <laughs> the, the sheep come under here. And oh, look themselves. at that, Paul. They, they scratch themselves at the sheep. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I think Jeff just builds the engines in here exclusively. That's it. That's it. <laughs> this is the engine building room. It's kept yeah. sanitary. Oh, man. <laughs> what a paradise place to work though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so next week I'll come back with those main shafts. Yeah. Just as long as I can fit it in my bag. <laughs> it's all good. Take care guys. Thank you. Thank you.